What's up guys welcome back to the channel in this particular video I will explain the problem largest number possible this problem is really interesting and based on mathematical reasoning and trust me guys if you watch this video till the end then you will uh, definitely going to enjoy this particular video right so guys without any further delay let me start with the problem statement it says that given two numbers n and s you have to find the largest number that can be formed with n digits and whose sum of digits should be equal to s okay now it says that written minus one if it is not possible to form that particular number so one example is given here guys we have n equals to 2 and s equals to 9 uh, let me write here so we have n equals to 2 and s equals to 9 this means that I have to form a two digit number where the sum of digits is equal to 9 so what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to write all the possible candidate numbers for forming a number right so I have 0 I can have 0 in my number then I can have 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 then 8 then 9 guys these particular digits I can use to form any particular number right so what I'm going to do is as I want my number to be the largest so first of all I'm going to include 9 in my uh, answer right I'm going to include 9 in my number after this you can see that the sum required is 9 and I have already 9 in my number so the second number that I can include is 0 only because only in that particular case I can have 9 as the sum of digits right so this is the largest two digit number where the sum of digits is equal to 9 so you can see that 90 is the output here now guys let me explain one more example to you because I want to explain something else as well see I have n equals to 1 after this uh, I have sum equals to 10 this means that I want to form a single digit number where the sum of digits is equal to 10 right so see I have the largest number possible which is a single digit number is 9 this means that and you can see that the sum of digits is equal to uh, 9 here so you can see that guys it is not possible to form a number where uh, like it is not possible to form a single digit number where the sum of digits is equal to 10 right so for these cases I have to return minus 1 this is where the problem says in this particular line right now guys I hope you have understood the problem well so let's talk about the solution now okay so I have written one example here and guys I have written the list of candidates as well right so see I want you to recall something when I explained this particular example so I said that as being clever and I want my number to be largest so I'm going to start with the largest number possible which is 9 right so I have written 9 first so guys this is something which is going to give us the hint to solve the problem let me explain how so what we can do is we can include as much 9 as possible in the answer why I'm saying that because I want my number to be largest right I want my number to be largest and guys this particular approach in DSA is known as something which is greedy approach right I want you to uh, recall this particular term which is greedy algorithm or greedy approach you can try other problems on greedy approach as well see what I'll do is I'll simply include 9 first so I want a 4 digit number let me write 4 places here right so these are the 4 places in the first place guys I will simply include 9 why I'm including 9 because I know my required sum is something which is greater than 9 so why not to include 9 first right when I include 9 then my required sum will decrease my required sum will now become uh, something which is 17 right which is 26 minus 9 why it is 17 because I have already included one digit which is 9 after this you can again see that this sum is something which is greater than 9 so again I can write 1 9 and now my required sum is something which is equal to 8 right which is equal to 8 and you can now see that this is something which is smaller than 9 so now I can't include 9 anymore right but I can include 8 only why I can include it because 8 is again going to give me the largest possible sum I can't break 8 like I cannot include 4 4 like this right because this is not something which is greater than writing 8 here now I want you to see something important see I have to form a 4 digit number and I have formed a 3 digit number now again as being clever I will simply do one smart thing I will write 0 here I can write any number of 0 and this is something which is not going to uh, like increase the required sum uh, whatever we have right so guys now based on this particular explanation let me write the pseudo code see whenever my sum is greater than 9 so while my sum is greater than 9 I can include 9 right I can include 9 so let's say I have an answer which is initially equal to an empty string right so I can include 9 any times till my sum is greater than 9 so I'll simply say that okay answer plus equals to 
string form of 9 like right? right because so you can see that the value of n can be uh, like 40 as well so writing a 40 digit number is something uh, which integer cannot hold so that's why i want my answer to be in the string form i hope you understand guys right so now i will include 9 and i will simply do one thing i will decrease my sum by 9 right sum minus equals to 9 i hope you understand the reason behind this guys i want you to explain everything uh, along with the reason right along with the intuition after this guys see this code is something which is going to include two nines in our answer right which is going to include two nines but now you can see that my sum is not greater than nine so i will do one thing while uh, okay here guys i want to do one more thing one more thing see when i included nine here for the first iteration so now i want only three digit number because i have included one digit right so i'm going to decrease the value of n as well i hope you understand the reason behind this again guys right because i want a four digit number when i include nine here so now i want a three digit number right with the sum 17 so i'm decreasing the problem uh, uh, into some sub problems here right after this guys see whenever my sum is equal to eight or anything let's say uh, instead of eight sum is equal to four or five so i'm going to write that particular sum here right so let's say now you can see that here uh I have included two nines and now the value of n is equal to two now i want to form a two digit number right so what i'll do is i'll say that okay while i have not formed a two digit number which means that n is not equal to zero because when my n become equal to zero only in that particular case i can say that i have formed a two digit number as well right i have included these two digits as well so what i'll do is i'll simply say that if my sum is not equal to zero if my sum is not equal to 0 so i will include sum because here you can see that i have included 8 right when sum was not equal to 0 so now you can see that i'll simply do okay answer plus equals to string form of sum right this is what i'll do after this i'll say that okay now sum is equal to 0 because once i have included sum here sum is definitely going to be a single digit number why i am saying this because whenever sum is greater than 9 so i am running this particular loop right so this loop will only break when the sum becomes smaller than 9 and whatever is the sum which is smaller than 9 i can write here as a single digit right so i will simply write uh, like sum here right after this once i have done this else uh, you can see that guys i have done one thing now my sum is equal to zero and i have included eight here right but still i have to form a single digit as well so i'll say that okay if my sum is equal to zero and i have not formed a full number so i'll simply include zero here right as being clever i will include zero and i can include as many zero as possible let's say the value of n is equal to six here instead of four so i can include uh two zeros as well so this is very interesting guys i hope you understand how this approach works and now what i'll do is inside this loop before i uh, end this particular loop i have to do one more thing uh, i have to decrease the value of n as well right so this is the pseudo code at last we can simply return our answer I, I hope you understand guys how this particular code works right i will definitely show you the uh, implementation in c plus plus java and python but before that let me uh, discuss the time complexity and space complexity see i'm not uh, using guys any extra space here right i'm just using a variable which is a string so this is going to cause the time complexity okay space complexity as o of one right because i'm not using any extra space talking about the time complexity so how many times i am iterating i am iterating not more than n times right not more than n times because i want a n digit number i hope you understand guys so this is what the problem is i hope you have understood everything related to this problem and i hope you enjoyed the explanation as well now let me show you the code quickly so guys here i have written the java and python code and now let me show you the c plus plus code as well so uh, okay this is the c plus plus code guys and okay guys uh, i have missed out something very important i want you to uh, focus on the base conditions as well see before i show you the code again let me discuss the base conditions guys so what are the base condition uh, see uh, i have already explained by the way uh, when i was explaining the problem statement right you can see that here i have given you an example guys and how this example works you can see that let's say i want to form a three digit number where the sum of digit is equal to let's say 1000 right so see what is the largest three digit number that we can have 999 isn't it we can include a nine three times and this is the largest number possible and sum of digit here is going to be a three cross nine right or if i want to generalize this so the sum of date can be n cross 9 right 
this is the sum of digit for any n digit number which is the largest number possible so i will write one condition that if my sum is something which is greater than even this particular value like n cross 9 then it is not possible so i can simply return minus 1 right this is what we need to figure out guys after this there is one more condition there is one more condition that particular condition is let's say i have sum equals to 0 and i want to form a two digit number so is it possible to form a two digit number you will say that okay i can do uh, what i can do is i can simply write 0 0 but no guys this is not something which is going to give us a, a two digit number because this is interpreted as zero only right which is a single digit number so for cases like these i have to return minus one so i'll write if my sum is equal to zero and uh, n is something which is greater than one if n is equal to one then i can write a single zero but if n is greater than one then it is again return minus one case right so guys this is the base condition or the edge case that we need to write so that our problem gets accepted right now guys let me show you the code again so again i have the code here c plus plus code is here and you can see that i am uh, handling the edge case first after this i am writing the same code i can include as much nine as possible right after this when it is not possible to include nine then i will simply write this particular condition while n is not equal to zero or n is greater than zero both means the same guys you can write whatever you want so let me write n is not equal to zero because it it is uh, like easily understandable right after this i can simply include this particular uh, sum if it is not equal to zero else i have to include zero in the answer right and at last we can simply return number this is the code in java guys and this is the code in python now i hope you have understood everything related to this particular problem so this is all about this video thank you